Now let's see how we can test the users and the access of logged in users. So what I've changed now in the products list, in the controller, I've added a middleware auth, and now the homepage redirects to login automatically. So products, controller, all the actions list and everything are protected and only logged in users have access. And if I go to the homepage, I automatically get redirected to login. And only if I log in with existing user of my database, I get access to the products table. And now our tests, of course, would fail because previously we didn't check for users. So if we launch PHP Artisan test now, it would fail, three failed, two somehow passed, but basically we need to log in with the user now, kind of fake logging. So how do we do that? First, in our products test, in here, we need to do all the this get actions, perform those actions with the user that would already exist in the database. So let's take care of that. In each of the tests, we can create a user. And remember, we have factories for that. So what we can do? So user would be user model factory create a new user. And then we're performing the get and we will have a method called acting as. Acting as accepts the model of the user and then that request is being done like that user would be logged in. And now if we relaunch our test with that, remember there was three failed, two passed, PHP artisan test, now we have two failed, three passed. So we will perform the same thing in other products test methods user create and then this get acting as user the same thing so this one paginated product as well and that user becomes part of the arrange part again arrange act assert so we're arranging the user as well acting as user here and now let's relaunch our test maybe everything will be green again artisan test Yep, all five tests passed because we are logging with the user now. And of course, this part is repeating. User factory create is in all methods. So in the next lessons, we will take care of how to make it more dry, so to speak. So don't repeat yourself and we will make it a bit more pretty. But for now, we're logging in with the user and make requests successfully. So our tests are green again, but that's not all. Here we're testing that the products list is accessed successfully if we have a user. But we need to have two more scenarios. First, not logged in user should not access the products page. We don't have a test for that. And also successful login and redirecting to products. So let's create a separate test because now we're not in the products specifically. Let's create a general authentication test or auth test to test everything that is related to authentication. So PHP Artisan make test, let's call it auth test or authentication test. It's not a unit test, so it will be created in tests feature folder. Let's open it up, auth test. We have test example, but we don't need that example. What we do need is test on authenticated user cannot access products, something like that. So we need to get to products without any user, without any factory or anything. And we need to assert the status, which will not be 200 anymore. Instead, how Laravel Breeze work, it redirects automatically to login form. In our case, the assert would be assert redirected or assert redirect to login. And also we can assert the status to be assert status 302 is the redirect HTTP status code. And let's try to launch that PHP artisan test again. And we have six pass test because that scenario is fulfilled successfully. And final test in this lesson, we will test the login form. So public function test login redirects to products something like this. So first the arrange part, we need to create the user. Then in the act, we will try to log in with that user and then assert that the redirect is successful. So user create what things we need for creation of the user in terms of Laravel. We need the name of user, whatever. Then email would be user at user.com, for example. 
password. We need to encrypt the password so it would be bcrypt, for example, from password one, two, three, and that's it. So we have the user, and then we need to post to login form powered by Laravel Breeze. So instead of this get, this will be our first post request. This post to login, and it accepts email and password as parameters. So in here we have array of email will be the same user, user com, and then password would be password one, two, three, in this case, without any encryption, because we're passing the password from the form. And we have this post and it will return the response. And now we can assert something with that response. And it will be pretty similar to this one, assert status of 302. So redirect should be successful, but not to login. Instead, it should be to products. And I've changed in the route service provider of Laravel. The default value here is the dashboard, but I've changed that to products, to redirect to products on every successful login or registration. Let's launch PHP Artisan test and it fails. Why? No such table. Of course, I forgot. With every new test, if you are interacting with the database like I'm doing here, don't forget to enable use refresh database, which is by default in here on top, just not enabled. And of course, you need to make sure you're working with testing database and not the real one. PHP Artisan test again, and now we have seven past tests. So again, look what we're testing here. We're testing that the login works, that it redirects to products, other tests, the feature test of products test, then cover that all the table is successful if you're logged in. And also probably the most important test is that unauthenticated users cannot access the products page.